this face. When it arrived with a badly broken wing, nobody gave this owl a chance at survival. Nobody but Dr. Barry. So we're gonna take a look at the short-eared owl. We're six weeks since I put a pin in the owl's wing. And uh, when we pinned the wing, there had been some suggestions that it wasn't going to work. There was talk about maybe amputating the wing or euthanizing the owl. And I thought we'd give the owl a chance. So I, I at least tried to pin it. And so now we're six weeks out. It's kind of one of those times that's kind of critical. It's either going to be looking like it's healing or it's not. This is the first short-eared owl ever at Hope for Wildlife. Their main habitat is like old hay fields. They actually nest on the ground. And their main food source is mice, field mice. So what we'll do is we'll just put this Easy over bite. his head. Easy bite. I know, it's okay dude. It's a great tight fit. And all we're giving him now is oxygen, um, just to kind of pre-oxygenate his body. And oxygen is what kind of fuels the body. And so by giving him extra oxygen beforehand, um, it just makes the anesthetic a little bit safer for him. Only an x-ray can reveal how the bone is healing, but a struggling owl isn't a particularly cooperative patient. So Barry is putting it under anesthetic for the exam. Turn you on. Easy, buddy. He's getting a little bit lax. He looks asleep from here. Okay. Yeah, his head's pushed up his against His tail still desk. feels like there's some uh, tension there, but just double check. Hi, dude, just gonna lay down, buddy. Barry should be able to see the bone, the pin, and how it's all healing. As far as the goal of getting the bone to heal, I think we've been able to reach that goal. Now the question is, um, now that the bone is healed, can we get the, the muscles and tendons and ligaments and everything to start working in unison so this bird will fly again? We made just a small incision to get the, uh, the pin out. Um, so I'm just gonna close it with a little bit of tissue glue, just so that we don't have any open wounds here. Yeah, all closed. I'm cautiously optimistic at this point. I mean, before taking today's x-ray, I was kind of on the fence, 50-50. Now I'd up that, 75% chance that things are gonna turn out well. And we'll just kind of see as time goes on, month by month. Dr. Barry's done everything he can. From here, it's up to the owl and the team at Hope for Wildlife.